My name is Jane Battersby. I'm a researcher at the African Centre for Cities at the University of Cape Town. I'm an urban geographer by training and I've been working on food security and food systems and food governance for the last 10 years or so. We know that African cities are changing rapidly. We know there's rapid urbanisation, we know there's expansion of populations, of encroachment onto agricultural land. Uh, we know that there's major investment by developers. So there's all these changes happening and oftentimes they're seen as quite disparate and disconnected. But we've realised if you look at the angle of food, you start to see all these sort of connections. Jane's work has really, is having um, a very profound effect. Certainly more in, in South Africa at the moment, where she has been working for a longer time. And I think the current work that she's involved in is, is having and going to have an impact on, on the rest of the continent. The food system at the moment is clearly not meeting the needs of the urban poor. We're seeing very high levels of food insecurity, which hadn't been expected. We're seeing very high levels of poor health in urban areas. These are all manifestations of, of a food system that's, that's designed for economic efficiency and not for, not for health, not for justice. And this is where we're trying to think about. And a sustainable food system is only really sustainable if it's socially sustainable as well as environmentally sustainable. Jane is incredibly consistent. Um, she's very focused and very clear about what our project is and what it's about. Um, Jane is, straddles the interesting role between academia and the deep rigour of the work and activism and that also allows us to engage in a number of different areas. She is kind of someone who is critical, she is proactive and she is also a, a change maker. You can describe her as such because um, I think what she is interested in doing is trying to uh, push an agenda of urban food security matters, food system issues, into to get space and a voice within the policy making environment of uh, local authorities. It was a huge surprise when I got the prize. I, I was just celebrating having got the boys to bed. Um, I have two young sons and they were not going to bed that night. So eventually when I got to bed and got them to bed and opened my, my email and saw it, it was, it was a huge surprise. Simply because the urban and Africa don't necessarily seem an obvious match for, for the discourse of sustainable food systems. Um, but once the, the shock had settled in, I, I started to think about, well, how, how can my work then contribute to, to the interests of the foundation, but also how then can I use this prize to advance what we're trying to do? The uh, myth that Jane debunked for me was um, about food insecurity in the city. You know, we always hear about food insecurity in the rural areas, um, but we never really um, see food insecurity um, uh, or, uh, or, or talk about food insecurity in the city. And uh, Jane's been incredibly powerful at bringing together uh, groups of people, um, particularly um, uh, supervising students who, who bring together knowledge sets in unusual ways that really add um, unique value to um, the food security conversation. Everyone eats and everyone engages with the food system. Most of us never, never see it. But if you sit in the, in, in the city and you watch all the pathways of food that are, that are going on, you think about all the things you eat, suddenly you start to see that you are an agent of, of change in the food system. And so for a long time we've left it to, to academics and policy makers. But I think if, if the general population start to think around the justice of the food system that they're engaging, start to think about their consumption choices and start to to think about the power that, that they as consumers have, I think we can start to affect some real food system change.